Okay, so we got one guy called Carnage Heart in this Scorpius, and then we got the other guy in a Hurricane. Roger. Uh, I see you. Yep. Okay, yeah. so let's get the Scorpius. And just be careful for when the Hurricane gets a little exciting close to and they're right. taking a run on me. All right. Three clicks. It seems like they're both teeing up on me here, so... Okay. I can I can tickle the shields on the Scorpius a little bit here, but uh, okay. he is, yeah, he is. Um, yeah, it looks like they're both on. Uh, him. Effective. There we go. Give give a pass on him. Yeah, I still, I've still got turret aggression. Yeah. Oh, Shield he's switching. Down. He's switching his nose to you. I'm not sure if he's gonna switch guns. Guns. He's about to get his ass clapped. Yeah, I'm still on him as well. Yeah. On his back. Yeah, let's keep the pressure up. There we go. And one more mag should do it. So, Scorpius, unfortunately, unable to get away. I'm not sure. on me, evading. Roger that. I'm, sta I'm yeah. staying on the Scorpius at the moment. Yep. Perfect. I think I got him. Dead. Yep, I've got him. Okay. Okay, so switching to William Wolf. Yeah, Roger that. William Wolf. Hurricane. So we got both the hurricanes here now. Okay. So William Wolf will be our first one here. Just so he's got tur he's got turret aggression on you. Yeah, yeah. Just loop de looping him. Yeah, I'm coming in on him now. He doesn't see doesn't see me. Still doesn't see me. I'm engaging. Yeah. Oh, he's disengaging. Yeah, he blew past, hitting him. Yeah, just tickle his shield. He's gonna joust through, get ready. Yeah. Dots emerging. Yeah, try and get on him here. I've got the turret aggression, so you can okay. push. Yeah, pushing. Got him. Yeah, just keep tapping his shields down. Yeah. I still got turret aggression. Okay. We would be honored if you would join. There we go. Yep, yep. I'm lead turning him. He's slowing down. Yeah. Lead turning. He's got turret aggression on you. Watch out. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm, I'm fine. I'm good. Lead turning him again. I'm still closing in on him here. If you just keep him, yeah. keep him busy for a little yeah. longer. There we yeah. go. Beautiful. Beautiful. Very good. Lined up. And coming in. Another gun run. Okay, I've got turret aggression. Okay, looping in. Two clicks. I'm, I'm down. defensive. Yep. Got him. Okay, let's push him now. Be it. Push him yeah. hard, hard. Yeah. Got him. Nice. Now let's go for the other hurricane. Burster. Yeah. Yes, SP stir. Let's delta merge him. He's coming 400 towards yeah. us. So. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Six, 600 towards us. 700. He's gonna blow right past. Yep. On him already. Beautiful Delta merge. Yeah, I'm on him as well. Yeah. Okay, I've got turret aggression. Okay, get him behind him. Going defensive. Yeah. Oh, this guy's toast. Yeah, still, I'm still defensive. He's still on me hard. Fucking him up. Got him. Nice. Good splash. Good splash. And that's how you deal with two hurricanes and a Scorpius. It doesn't matter how great the ship is or how many guns you have strapped onto it. What really matters is teamwork. In this situation at Yellow OM-1, I had a chance to fight quite a few people until eventually I caught the attention of a few heavy fighters that had grouped up together. I decided it was a great opportunity to bring another Avenger Squadron pilot into the mix, Stray Bullets, to showcase some good examples of proper wingman procedure when it comes to string out maneuvers like we see here, how to fly defensively and trade who has the offense capabilities between myself and my wingman. If you get ego out of the out of the equation and you just look at strictly the tactical situation, it's that doesn't really matter who gets the final blow on the kill. What matters is how the team coordinates together, how you're able to close in on an opponent how you're able to separate your opponent from his teammates. For example, this Scorpius 
separated from his other two hurricane friends is in a pretty bad spot. Another good example of proper teamwork is when to go defensive in case myself or stray bullets had picked up pressure from the turret. Right now in 317.2, the turrets with the auto gimbal zone can be extremely powerful and can produce a ton of what I call turret pressure. Turret pressure is basically enough firepower to force you into a defensive position. But because there are two of us, there is only so much pressure one turret can do to either one of us. So if I have turret pressure, I'll communicate that to my wingman and that allows him to close the distance and apply more effective, more powerful bursts of damage and obviously kill the target quicker. If that pressure switches from me to my wingman, I let my wingman know and he starts going defensive while I start to push in. This kind of trading procedure is a great example of how to utilize your wingman and how to fight as a team when it comes to fighting heavy fighters or even larger ships in general. With every turret, you need to communicate. With every communication and every time you push in, merge, or close the distance on your opponent is one step closer to getting your kill. It is a ton of fun flying with friends. To be honest, I should probably do it more to help showcase exactly what's going on in the team environment. Because whatever happens in the battle space is directly impacting your ability and how well you communicate with your wingman. You could be up against 10, 20, 30, 40 people, but if you're able to communicate effectively, stay close, pick your targets, look at the targets, and pick them out one by one by separation, merging properly, rolling your shots on target, and just general wingman strategy, going defensive with string outs, there is an unlimited amount of kills that you can have. Keep that in mind as all of you folks either train with the squadrons you are currently in, or are potentially looking for a squadron to join, consider joining us all here on Discord for everyday training and community building. If some of these tactics and some of these things explained in this video we're a little confusing, don't be afraid and don't feel bad. This is a very deep game and there is a lot of moving pieces here with a lot of terminology most find probably a little bit alien at first. Consider watching our welcome video and then also our core skills playlist to help you get a baseline of where to begin and how to start your PvP journey. It's an exciting time and there will be times where you will have more fun playing this game than you could probably think of because once you dive into the experience and you give yourself to that 1% improvement every day and you start to catch the PvP bug, there is no other experience like Star Citizen. Thank you so much to everybody who has been supporting myself and everyone here at Avenger Squadron. Thank you so much for all the love and support on YouTube and on Twitch. I could not do this without you. Take a look at our sponsors, Predator Mounts, and use the code Avenger1 for a discount. And I hope to see all you folks out for the next YouTube and the next Twitch stream. My name is Avenger1, and I'll see you next time.